there are an estimated 45,000 Persian Jews living here in Los Angeles. That's larger than the community in Iran. Not only has this community made an historical impact, but it's paving the way for future generations. At the Fowler Museum on the campus of the University of California, Los Angeles, an exhibit features artifacts from one of the world's oldest Jewish communities. The display is called Light and Shadows, the story of Iranian Jews. It follows the history of Persian Jews through the 20th century. With the formation of the Islamic Republic, Persian Jews fled to the United States, many settling in Los Angeles and forming a new American identity. But what does the future hold for this community? Yeah, the future is here. Joseph Radpavar, a Persian Jew living in Los Angeles, says given the current situation in Iran, the future for this community is elsewhere. There definitely is this, uh, this movement, uh, so to speak, this sort of the, this renaissance of Persian Jews really flourishing. And so to a large degree, I, I do see Los Angeles as sort of being somewhat of a, a hub, if you will, uh, a pillar of Persian Judaism. Persian Jews met at the museum for a special program to discuss taboo topics, but it was done behind closed doors where people felt safe to talk. A few people shared their thoughts on camera. One of the topics was about homosexual Persian Jews. For a lot of people, it's surprising when they find out that it's actually out there, that there's a community that supports each other. And my goal was really to do that, was really to expose everybody to that other side of it. And hopefully in the process, maybe help somebody who might be in the audience or who might hear about it and they can to come out and just have a better life. For others, taboo topics included marrying an outsider. Marrying a Muslim <laughs> is pretty taboo. Aviva Yagubia says she wants Persian Jews to marry each other. It's hard living in America where we meet so many different cultures and where we learn to accept them and be friends with them and, and then it's kind of like you may fall for someone and you, you can't marry them so it's, it's a difficult, difficult thing to deal with. But when it comes to career and family, she wants change. She works for a Persian Jewish company. I feel pressure like my work expects me to leave one day when I get married. I really, really do think that way. Artist David Abreer is moving to Los Angeles and says he wants the community to accept different career choices. He doesn't want art to be considered just a hobby. I think open-mindedness is a good way of putting it. And understanding a little bit more about how important Jews are to the history of Iran, how important they are to keeping Persian culture alive and Persian music and the arts alive when the Arabs came and invaded, like this amazing show really depicts that it really was the Jews that were able to do that. While no one knows what the future holds, discussions like these and respect for the past is how Persian Jews here in Los Angeles are helping shape the future. Lindsay Mastis for JN1 Los Angeles.